The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To solve for two separate variables, in this case x and y, we need two separate equations called a system of equations. There are different ways of solving systems of equations, but in this section we're going to be using the graphing method. To solve a system of equations by graphing, we would first graph each of the two given lines. And what we're looking for is their point of intersection. This point where the two lines intersect will represent the x and y that is the solution to this system of equations. So let's start by graphing the line y equals 3 halves x plus 1. It has a y-intercept of 1 and its slope is 3 halves. So we go up 3 and over 2 and we have our first line. For our second line, y equals negative x plus 6. It has a y-intercept of 6, up 6 units on the y-axis, and its slope can be thought of as negative 1, or negative 1 over 1. So from our y-intercept, we go down 1 and to the right 1 to plot a second point. Notice that if we go down one and to the right one again, we reach our point of intersection. So if we graph our second line, you can see that the two lines intersect at this point, which has the coordinates 2, 4. In other words, when x equals 2 and y equals 4, we have the solution for our system of equations. It's very easy to check your answer by plugging these values for x and y back into each of the two original equations to see if they work. For our first equation, y is 4 equals 3 halves times x, which is 2, plus 1. The 2's cancel. We have 4 equals 3 plus 1. So 4 equals 4. And our first equation checks. For our second equation, y is 4 equals negative x, which is negative 2, plus 6. So 4 equals 4. And our second equation checks. So the solution to this system of equations must be the point 2, 4. 